hello hello welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new be sure to subscribe if you are i'm anna may and today we're going to do something really fun that i've been wanting to do for so long i thought about doing this when i was working on my dissertation and it was just something i wanted to do so bad so i wrote it down i was like you can do it once you're done and here we are we're done so today we're going to be going to all of the charity shops in my town so I don't know if it's the same in a lot of other Irish towns. I'm Irish, by the way. We have a lot of charity shops. Uh, we also have a lot of pharmacies and hairdressers, but charity shops is another thing that we have. I think we have five or six, and it's it's not a massive town, but it's I'm going with a friend. We're going thrifting, as other people might say, but here all of the shops, at least outside of big cities all of the secondhand selling shops are for charity and they're for specific charities so as we go to each shop i'll put what charity they're for my mom actually volunteers in one and she's going to be there today so maybe we'll stop by and say hey to claire um but i just thought this would be really fun uh, i like to try and shop sustainably so i shop secondhand a lot but I thought it would be fun to like, I usually only go to one or two charity shops that I know of, but to go to all of them in a day. There are some specific things that I'm looking for and I'm not sure about my friend, she's coming with me. I'm not sure she wants to be on this video though, that's okay. Most of my friends are quite camera shy. We're gonna go make a plan. They're all kind of with, well, most of them are within walking distance from each other, except for the one that my mom volunteers in. And then there's also a furniture shop. That's another way out. So we'll figure out what we wanna do, but most of all, I'm looking for denim jackets, regular denim and white denim. White denim for like actually just regular wearing, denim denim for DIY stuff. Nothing without sleeves and anything wool. They're kind of the things that I'm looking for. So I don't know what Rebecca's looking for, but yeah. I also want to mention that it's important to give as much to charity shops as you purchase. I'm also not really into the whole like resale thing. If I see something that's really great, but isn't gonna work for me I'm not gonna buy it resell it mostly when I'm done with my clothing that's in really good nick I give it to charity shops so you know I feel like if you're gonna be purchasing a lot and thrifting a lot definitely do that with your old stuff maybe don't sell it personally that's just my opinion you can sell stuff I do sell stuff but definitely the majority of the stuff give as much as you take so with all that said I'm gonna get in the car and have ourselves a day i need to make sure i have cash also because it's covid times i have my mask and hand sanitizers i really hope this isn't a fail but it might be a major fail okay so i just had to go on a wild chase for a small cash because i realized i didn't have any because covid everyone's only accepting card payments so but a lot of these places won't be i'm going to go pick up rebecca now and it's obviously piss and rain because this is the west of Ireland, but I'm not sure if she knows we're going to go to every charity shop. I mean, it's a fun surprise. <laughs> I'm not taking out my camera because hack but I've been largely unsuccessful so far. Rebecca got a couple cute, that was water, not bird shit, thank God. Um, Rebecca got a couple cute things, I did not, I got one cute thing. So we still have one place left to go, but she's also banned me from going to any of the furniture places because I'm obsessed with buying secondhand furniture and I don't have anywhere to put it. So I'll show you what she got as well as what I got, but kind of a fail but she's gone back inside looking for She might be picking something up for her younger sister, who's a smaller size than us, but cute piece. So, the trip was not great. Uh, so as I said before, all of the shops are really small here. So I wasn't filming very much in them because I don't know if it's the same in other countries, but like shoplifting is massive in secondhand shops. So you don't want to be like doing stuff in your bag and stuff like that because then people are suspicious. Anyways, also it's like, like some of the places are really, really small. Like 
really small. So I didn't make it out with too much stuff, but Rebecca, my friend who was with me, who you probably saw in those clips, she got a few things. So she said that I could haul them for her so I could show what was there, um, even if it wasn't my own. So I have two things and I'll show my things first. Uh, the first thing I got was this beret and it's a dark gray and it's kind of a, a larger size but it means it's like really roomy and really comfortable i really like the dark gray color i think it's good for my hair color my skin color um and i have a gray a light gray wool coat that i think this would look so good with i do have a baby pink beret um i'm pretty sure this is i know like the brand of this or oh is it here linea yeah so it's 100 wool and it, I just put it on my head because I'm pretty sure it's new. Like it's never worn. Uh, there were two of them actually. There's also a dark brown. But I really like this. I really love this grey colour. And this was €5 because it's like 100% wool. And the other thing I got was this dress. I might insert a try-on clip if it fits. I'm not sure if it will. This is a dress from Warehouse. It's UK10. Uh, this was €3 Euro because the charity shop, which is actually the one that my mom volunteers in. But she was already home at the time. Uh, they had a summer sale on so this was only three euro uh i thought it was kind of like a summer spring summer work dress um which is very ambitious of me because i don't have a job right now but we can hope and then rebecca's bag is is pretty hefty we just got like they just get paper bags um so i'll show you the first thing she got was actually for her little sister i think i filmed a clip when she was going in to get this this is from Marks and Spencer's collection, if you know Marks and Spencer's, uh, but it's the collection which is the nicer stuff and it's with wool. So it's just a wool, little black skirt. I don't know if you can really see the details. It's got two little like faux pockets. You see that? On the front and it's almost like what's like a hairy texture. Does that make sense? It's really nice. I think it was four euro, um, but it's for her sister and it's honestly such a good staple so it couldn't leave that behind it'll fit someone and if it doesn't work you just redonate it and the four euro is like a donation so rebecca got some really good finds uh she got this top which i almost got but i was like i don't need any more tops like this you'd wear it more she wasn't going to get it and then realized it was a euro because of the summer sale so this is from zara woman and it is or is it zara basic yeah zara basic so it's an extra small surprisingly um we're both somewhere between like a, we can wear like a uk8 up to like i know i wear uk14 so she's about five foot six i'm only like not five foot three so um she got this and it is so cute i don't know we like don't know if it's gonna fit it might be too small under the arms if it doesn't fit her it might fit me it might fit her sister because she's like more miniature um but it's such a cute find and it's like never worn looking um so that was another already good one and then she got two other things in the first place that we went to which was say so i'm not saying which charity shop these were from because i can't necessarily remember well i could but it's not really relevant um then this i know was from vincent's uh so saint vincent de paul is the charity that it is for um and she actually left in two bags of stuff from her family um, in there and it was so crazy in there I didn't film clips but uh, that's where some of the stuff I've been donating has been going to recently and I spotted like I saw a gingham and I went ooh gingham and I was like that was yours it doesn't fit it doesn't close over the chest and I was like oh that's weird so some of my stuff um my stuff that I was giving away was there but she got this really cute dress it's like a really lightweight fabric um and it's got this cute like embroidery at the bottom and it's just like running stitch kind of embroidery and um my like needlework person coming out but this is really cute nice high neckline it's not too short and she is a medical student so she can wear this for placement when she has placement she won't be doing that for a while and then this is honestly such a find uh i spotted it or she did she spot it and i was like oh, amazing and she's like you, you can have it and I was like no no I have a black linen top uh so she tried this on and it is so her it's like you know one of those things that you find it and you're like this is going to stay in my wardrobe forever and I'm going to wear it all the time so it is this black linen tank top and it's not cropped but it's like perfect like hits your pants waistband it would be so cute like under a work jacket 
because of like the, the neckline um, it's in really 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 good condition like of course it is linen so it would age pretty well but um because it's definitely you can tell by the tag and everything this thing is old i was interrupted but it's linen so it wears really well um and i just thought like it would be so good when the color is off like with like denim shorts just tucked in or jeans or you could wear anything over it it's not really doing it this lighting is not really doing it justice but it is really really cute so that was a really great find and i think it was maybe five euro I'm not sure because it's like really really nice so we got a few things Rebecca definitely made it out with more stuff than I did um I was looking for a couple of things in particular I was also looking at like men's clothes and shoes and everything like that but I didn't really find anything I wanted um specifically so that was kind of frustrating but I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles they are charity shops but yeah maybe i'll do this again sometime like in the winter when they have their because i know a lot of the places only put out because they're so small they only put out like their summer stuff and then they'll switch it to their winter stuff so maybe i'll do it like a winter edition later on in the year but that is it for this video those are the bits that we found nothing too crazy exciting but it was still kind of a fun day out it's just a drizzly rainy day here as you can probably tell by my hair corona friendly day out there was a lot of hand sanitizer used in making of this video you gotta just do what you can do right now so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video